Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. We are carrying on from where we left off in the previous session. That being, a slime event once again started happening. Because, you know, Terraria is a troll and such. Just after we defeat the Queen Bee as well. <laughs> Who knows, maybe they're correlated somehow. Hmm. Oh, well, there we go. We've got the King Slime somewhere. Oh, God. Then we have to take him down again. Alright, where are you, son? Oh, you're over there. Alright, let's 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 take him down with the bee's knees and such. <laughs> oh, look at the damage. Look at that damage, though. Wow, that's uh, that's not a lot of damage or anything. Oh, King Slime has sunk. <laughs> oh, he's really gone downhill, hasn't he? Oh, man. Hmm, I feel like I should go ahead and just buy some regular arrows. Hmm, alright. Hey, Merchant. I mean, you know, we're just doing this completely in the middle of a fight because, you know, why not and such. Alright, uh, regular arrows. I thank you. Apparently I picked up a bottle from somewhere. I should probably put that back. Ooh, probably put that back down or something. <laughs> Come on then. Come on, brother. I think you can take me down, don't you? Oh, no. Man, this weapon is really freaking good, isn't it? Wow. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage. 200... 100, and you're dead. Huh, that was easy. Oh, slime hook. Yay, we got an upgraded hook, at least, which is kind of awesome. Huh, well, aside from that, I think, uh, <laughs> I think that's it for the slime rain event. All right, fantastic. We now have 514 gel, which is amazing, because, like, well, as before, we probably won't run out anytime soon, <laughs> unless we make something out of gel. Which I don't know if I'm going to wind up doing. I don't know. You never know. Alright. So, yeah. I mean, I guess that's a thing. Kind of awesome. Got some more gold out of it. Got ourselves an upgraded hook. Which is sweet. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and organise my inventory. And I'll meet you guys back down in the jungle. To finish off our jungle farming session. So, yeah. Back in a moment. Alrighty guys, here we are back in the underground jungle, and I've just realized something. The slime hook doesn't seem too dissimilar from the ivy whip. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got the wiki in my memory, but uh, I genuinely don't know which one reaches further, the slime hook or the ivy whip. But, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm... I'm, I, th I think I'm going to keep my uh, my slime hook just for now. And then obviously if I do manage to find out from the wiki or from you guys that the ivy whip is better, then of course I will go ahead and I will go ahead and make the ivy whip, I guess. So, yeah. I mean, we're back in the underground jungle, of course, just so we can carry on with our massive farming session because I would like to try and make a bunch of awesome things that you can get from the jungle. I don't know. I mean, it's not just the grass blade you can make, is it? You can make like a, like a chakram or something, which is some sort of like weird boomerang type thing that stacks if I'm correct in remembering. I don't know. My memory is pretty poor for the most part. You do have to remember that, of course. Ooh! Okay, so we must have had a goblin invasion at some point. I've just found the goblin. Hey, buddy! <laughs> Hell yeah, we found him. Alright, let's buy that. Let's buy that. And... Uh... Tool belt, ruler... I mean, I could buy... Oh, man, 10 gold. Look at that. Increases block placement ratio. So, if we ever wanted to go with a builder's loadout so we could build some awesome things in this series, then this might be worth buying later down the line. The ruler and the tool belt. But for now... I tell you what, let's see if we can reforge anything. Uh, frenzying, it's decent. It's got more speed but less damage. Oh, that's expensive. Okay, powerful. Wow, look at that. Minus speed. Do you know what? I think I might keep that. Alright, Diamond Staff, Harpoon, uh, Crimson Rod, uh, I don't know, man. Ice Blade, I might reforge that. Sharp. Plus damage. Very simple. Awesome. Damaged, uh, let's reforge that. Uh, Zealous, nah. Agile. Yeah, more speed is pretty much what I want with that. Uh, aside from that, Diamond Staff, I don't really think that's going to be too useful. Later down the line, I just want to figure out if there's anything here that I can reforge that I won't be uh, changing later. There, no, I think I'm going to keep them because I need to like combine a bunch of these stuff anyway, don't I? Alright, Goblin, you find your rightful place back at the base, my friend, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you back there. <laughs> oh, man, but I guess for now, I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this farming session, my friend. So, 
yeah, gonna do this in the form of a montage, my friends. So, yeah, meet you guys back, hopefully, once we're ready to craft some awesome things. Alrighty guys, I thought I'd bring you guys back in here because uh, I don't think I've ever seen one of these things before. It looks like some sort of giant underground tree. Now, I'm going to assume straight away that it's brand new 1.3 because, uh, well, I would have seen it in one of my previous 1.2 Let's Plays, but uh, it looks kind of awesome. Hmm. Alright, is there like an official entrance to this thing? Is this thing like a, like a dungeon or something? Is it going to be like special mobs? Wow, you're a massive hornet. I need to take you down. Uh, it must take you down. Alright, there you go. <laughs> You're welcome. Right, um, I guess we can just bar in. Oh, there's a chest in there. Awesome. Okay, does this, like, go anywhere or anything? Eh, it doesn't seem to. I mean, all I can see is just a chest. Uh, Anklet of the Wind. Fantastic. Okay, that's brilliant. Now, if we manage to find an anklet somewhere, then we should be able to make the lightning boots by the end of this episode. That would be fantastic. I'll be very uh, happy if we manage to get that. Uh, 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 I mean, underground tree, why not? <laughs> Just another environmental thing they added in 1.3. I guess that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything too, too interesting other than the chest, I guess. I was kind of hoping there'd be like some sort of dungeon, like tree dungeon. I think that'd be kind of awesome. But oh well, doesn't matter too much. It's still pretty cool. So yeah, guys, I'm going to carry on with this uh, farming session. <laughs> Another hive, another bee to take down. Hey, hey, get out of here, you silly fool. Right, here we go. Oh, ah. <laughs> I'm totally going to use a bomb on this, and I'm just going to get swarmed with bees. That'd be hilarious. All right, here we go. Let's use this thing. Oh, dang, that went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, here come the bees. They're all over the place. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, God, get out. They're all over the place. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Okay, um... Right, now where's the thing? Oh, it's there. Okay. Let's wait until this, uh, let's wait until this here honey is, uh, settled down. And then we shall think about setting up some sort of arena. In fact, you know what? I'm pretty sure we can do it right now. Alright, okay. Is that gonna be enough? 30? Uh, yeah, it should be. Alright. Do, 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 all the things and get out. Don't need you. Alright. Here we go. Time to take it down. Oh, that's funny. You can't, ah, you can't take it down with the cloud. Interesting. Hey! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill you with your own friends. That's right. It's happening. I'm gonna kill you with your own bee friends, dude. Or gal. I'm so sorry, but it's how it works. Oh my god, this weapon is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> oh! Oh! The damage is real. Look at that. 1400, 1300, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I mean, why not? Oh, I've just realised there's new music for the Queen Bee. Ah, sweet, sweet. Very interesting to know. Now, if you could stop like going around like a complete fool, I could actually kill you. Here we go. Come on, get yourself wrecked, son. And 100 and dead. <laughs> uh, oh, another bee's knees. Awesome. Do 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 do. Ten gold. Wow, you get ten gold from taking down Queen Bee. That's amazing. Oh, look at this. 82 gold coins. That's incredible. All right, boom, boom. We're going to put all the valuable stuff in there. Uh, boom, boom. That can go in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. Fishing pole. And uh, I'm going to put the chests in there as well. Yeah. All right. What do we got? Honeycomb and the bee's knees. Wow, look at this. Releases bees when damaged. I'm pretty sure you can combine this with a balloon. Yeah. Sweet. All right. That's, that's very cool indeed. <laughs> Right, how much stuff have we got apart from that? That's that's a considerable amount. Right. Well, guys, you know what time it is. It's time to head back to base and organize our inventory. Back in a minute, my friends.
Alrighty guys, here we are back in action, and as you can see, we have managed to obtain 26 stingers, 39 jungle spores, and 8 vines. Now, let's go see just what kind of things we can make. Here we go, the blade of grass. This is what I was wanting. Oh boy! Oh, it's a dull one. Oh, thanks buddy. Minus damage. That's brilliant. That's really, really... What's the word I'm looking for? Really? Really, really nice of you. <laughs> Ivy Whip, I could get that, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I might leave that for now. I, because obviously I'm recording this and the previous episode in the same session, obviously I won't be able to see your responses from episode 11 until after episode 12. So I'm going to leave out the Ivy Whip for now. But again, if you guys know if the Ivy Whip is better than the Slime Hook, then, uh, you know, by all means, leave your responses. But apart from that, I'm going to buy this thing. Or, well, not buy it. <laughs> Make it. Weak Thorn Chakram. Awesome. Hmm. Look at it. Looks kind of cool. I wonder if I can use it for anything. Alright, uh, dull blade of grass, I will... Oh, it's still not auto-swing. Okay, uh, I mean, yeah, I will go ahead and, of course, uh, reforge it. I would like to try and use it just a little bit. Uh, wait, Goblin Tinkerer's not got a house yet? Oh! I forgot to put lights in here. Doi! Oh, Python GB is an absolute, complete idiot. Right, there you go. You can go in there, and if I just walk away from the house, he should teleport in there, and I can see him on the map right now. There we go. <laughs> he teleported! He's so quick. I wish I could teleport like you could, buddy. There we go. Alright, let's reforge this thing, shall we? Uh, 65 silver, not bad. Large. No, 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 no. This is terrible. Demonic? Yeah, that's better. 33 damage. Sweet. We'll go with that. <laughs> the amount of times I just had to reforge that to get something decent. That's ridiculous. Right. Okay. Next thing to do would be to grab all of these things out. I don't want to shift click in case I... Oh, well, I don't need to combine the cape with anything because you can't combine the cape. <laughs> Doi. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's see if we can make anything. Spectre boots, yep, kind of cool. Guarding, not bad, not bad. Tiger climbing claws, armored, not bad, not bad. I'm liking that. That is awesome. There we go, 25 defense. Uh, right, do we have an aglet? If we have an aglet, that'd be awesome. Uh, no, of course we don't. Dang it, man, that'd be awesome. Uh, don't need that. Uh, cloud in the bottle, don't need that. Nature's gift, no. I mean, there might be something we can make with this, but I don't... Oh, sweetheart necklace. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Uh, hasty? Nah, I don't want that. I want to get something decent. Wait, what is this? Oh! I did not know that. I was just going to say, just a random pile of wood on the ground? I'm pretty sure that was a campfire. You can right-click on it to activate it. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Alright, okay. Sweet. Hasty, let's give ourselves something good. Guarding. Yeah, that's okay. I'm alright with that. Okay, right. Uh, what if I do this? For some reason, I remember the fact that you can combine the flipper with something. I may need to see the guide about that. A uh, guidey! I wish to see what I can make with this thing. Alright, what have we got? Diving gear. Oh, I need a diving helmet. Dang it. In which case, we need to go kill a whole bunch of dudes in the ocean, don't we? Alright, not bad. Uh, arcane flipper. I mean, I might as well have it on. Let's put this on as well. Guarding shackle. Alright, we're up to 29 defense. Sweet! The only thing is, we don't have the uh, the jumps anymore. I may have to get rid of that and then put... I'm going to put the blizzard on. There we go. Right. Okay, cool, cool. I think, we're, I think we're pretty much done in terms of accessories. So let's put them in there. Yeah, we need to go hunting for accessories and such, don't we? Uh, buff potions. Do we have gravitation? We've got two gravitation potions. I think it might be that time, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I think it's that time. We may have to go ahead and try and find some Sky Islands, try and find some cool things, but before we do that, let's go ahead and reforge this thing. Strong. No. No. Superior. Nice. Okay. Alright. Sweet. Let's do some things. Woohoo! I got me some rocket boots. Sweet. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to time lapse me going ahead and trying to find some Sky Islands. So yeah, back in a minute my friends. Looks like we've got ourselves our first Sky Island. Actually, there's a start there. I kind of want it. Here we go. Ha 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 ha. Fantastic. 
Alright, uh, these don't seem to have changed too much in 1.3. In fact, they're pretty much the same. Alright, what do we got? Bloom! Awesome! I'm okay with that. Alright, I'm gonna pick up the uh, furniture as well, just because I kind of like it. And the banners, because, again, I kind of like them. And the door. <laughs> just ransack the entire place, why not? Why the heck not? That's the question. Alright, let's keep going, my friends! Ooh, Sky Island Numero Dolce! Hey, hey, hey! Awesome stuff! Alright, let's just uh, light this sucker up. Let's see what we got. Uh, horseshoe! Awesome! Okay! <laughs> Sweet! Nice, nice, nice. Alright, again, ransacking the place for the furniture. We've got about 45 seconds left, but uh, you never know, man. You never know. Let's keep going. Alright, time to equip the horseshoe. There we go. Now we won't die full damage. Oh, that is so mean. Do you know what? I'm going to use it just to get up there. <laughs> I have to, man. I'm going to see what that Sky Island has. Or if it even is a Sky Island, because you can get what's called Sky Lakes now. Uh, oh, this is a Sky Lake. Interesting. Right, okay. The function, of course, for this is just so you're able to fish in the uh, in the sky biome, so that's kind of cool. Alright! <laughs> wow, I can't believe I wasted a potion on that. Yeah, well, doesn't matter a great deal. I guess we're going to go ahead and... Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Sweet! Number three has been found. Wow, we're doing pretty well on this. Awesome! <laughs> uh, what have we got? Star Fury! Nice. Okay, might as well take it. I don't think I'm going to want it using it, though. Although, I don't know. Because that also has sort of a projectile, doesn't it? In the form that it drops a star on people as well, doesn't it? I don't know, man. Hmm, come to think of it, maybe even my Ice Blade is superior to the uh, Grass Blade. Because, you know, again, the Ice Blade has a, uh, has a projectile. Not only that, it's fully auto as well, so it's got full auto swing. So that is kind of awesome. Alright guys, let's continue on with the Sky Island Hunt. End of the world, my friends. Literally the end of the world. Alright, I guess we can uh, do a little bit of exploring up here. Maybe there's a Sky Island above here? I doubt it, but you never know, man. You never know until you have a look. Right, okay. We are approaching where we started off inside our house, but you never know. Again, there might be a Sky Island between the spawn point and our house, so we will have a look anyway. Uh, aside from that, we're about to run out of time, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm not overly fussed if we don't manage to find one. I'm just doing it just out of pure curiosity. Got about 30 seconds left. Okay, this will probably be the last little uppy part. Alright, I don't think there's any more. Sweet. I mean, we didn't do too bad, actually. Not too bad. Alright, let's go back to base, shall we? <laughs> awesome stuff, my friends. Awesome stuff. I still can't wait. Hang on a sec. We still don't have a bed. Do you know what, guys? I think it's about time we got ourselves a bed, eh? <laughs> we have gone the longest amount of time without having a bed in this freaking world. We need to do it, man. We need to do it. Okay, so let's head up here really quick and let's do some things. And I'll, do, I'll tell you what, my friends, we'll jump into the question of the video while we are doing this. And for today, that comes from a user by the name of Adam Leyland. And his question is, what feature from Minecraft would you have in Terraria? Now, obviously, previously I was asked which features from Terraria would you have in Minecraft. So it's only fitting we have the question the opposite way around as well. Now... The feature I would have from Minecraft in Terraria would have to be different dimensions because of course in Minecraft you have the nether and the end which are like alternate dimensions which are accessible through a portal and obviously Terraria you only have like one dimension, it is just the world. It would be kind of awesome if they somehow managed to implement different dimensions that again are ac accessible through portals because I think that would add quite a heck of a lot to the exploration side of Terraria. I think that would be very, very cool indeed. Uh, it really would be. I think it would be amazing if they had that, in fact. Right. Okay, so yeah, hopefully that answers your question. And uh, yeah, I'm going to pass that question on to you guys as well. Which feature for Minecraft, if you play it, of course, would you have in Terraria? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, put them in the comments area below, and you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. So, yeah, awesome stuff. Right, I want to see, before I go ahead and make the balloon thing, I want to see what this uh, horseshoe can be made into. All right, buddy. Hey, buddy. All right. Horseshoe. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, okay, we just need to combine the balloons and then we can do that thing. Pink horseshoe balloon? Huh? Ah, interesting. 
at all the colours you can get. Obsidian Horseshoe? Nah, we're going to wind up having an Obsidian Shield instead, so I don't think that's really worth making. Right, yeah, okay, we're going to go with the idea of going ahead and making ourselves balloons and then combining it with a horseshoe. So, boom, and a boom. Angry. More damage. Okay, I'm alright with that. That's kind of cool. I guess we could put that thing back on as well. If I know, put that on. There we go. I think that's a pretty good set of accessories right there. I can't believe I'm still wearing my, wearing my blooming wedding dress. <laughs> oh, I find that hilarious. I love it, man. I love it so much. Okay, uh, what is the time at the moment? If it is morning? Oh, it is morning. Damn. I was thinking of maybe taking down Skeletron. Maybe there's something else we could do in the meantime, my friends. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think... I'm thinking Brain of Cthulhu. I mean, we've still got some of these Crimson Hearts left, so... I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to do this thing, my friends. Uh, maybe we can reforge our Star Fury really quick, and then we'll go ahead and do the Brain of Cthulhu a couple more times, maybe. Okay, reforge. Do this. Bada bing. Light. Nah. Bulky. Yes. Got slightly more damage. Nah. Forceful. Unhappy. Pointy. No. No. Savage. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, sweet. Wait, how much money do I have left? 46 gold coins. In which case, what I'm also going to do at the same time is I'm going to buy this thing. There we go. Ah, look at that. Got ourselves an achievement. Sweet! And might as well buy some bullets for it because we kind of need to. Okay. Oh, bought too many. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? Hey, buddy. Going to reforge this thing, alright? Hopefully that's all good. 11 gold? Wow. That's, uh, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Damn. Right. Okay. I guess it is that time, my friends. We're going to go ahead and go to the Underground Crimson. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get on with defeating the Brain of Cthulhu maybe a couple more times. Hey, so, yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Alrighty, guys. Here we are with Brain of Cthulhu fight numero one for today, anyway. All right. Do, do, do. Let's go up here. Uh, I th I'm thinking using bee's knees. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, wow, look at the numbers all over the place. So many. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. If I had this weapon in expert mode, oh, man, we'd be, we'd be set. We would probably be set for life. Come on. Keep it going. Is that everybody? It is indeed. All right, brother. <laughs> These bees are going to town on this guy's ass. Well, I mean, technically he doesn't have an ass, but oh well. Ugh. And you are dead. Huh. I mean, that wasn't easy or anything. Huh. Well, that's uh, interesting. Right, uh, no more Brain of Cthulhu's there. No more Brain of Cthulhu's there. Where's the next Crimson? Oh, it's way over here. Wow. Okay, in which case, I think we're just going to stick with just the one fight for today. And what we're going to do is we're going to head back to base. We're actually going to make the bed this time. We're not going to get distracted like we have before. Because, you know, things. I get distracted very easily, it turns out. Ugh, probably not good. Probably not good. Alright. So, where is the loom? Do we even have a loom? I don't think we do. Alright, we're going to make ourselves a loom. Loom, 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 loom. Oh, wait. No, hang on. Yeah, we do have one. All right. In which case, all we need to do is get out some good old-fashioned stuff. You know, cobwebs. Let's do this. We need 35. Which will be exactly enough to make it. So, let's go down here. Let's do this. Let's make ourselves some silk. Only five bits are needed. Go up to the sawmill. Make ourselves a good old-fashioned bed. And we are going to place it in this room. There we go. And spawn set. There we go. Finally, we have ourselves a blooming spawn set. Yes. Well, spawn point. That's what I was on about. Wow. Okay, sweet. Uh, where's the goblin at? We have one chance with this mini shark. All right, here we go. Rapid. Not bad. Not bad. Not more damage, but it's got a lot more speed. Yeah, do you know what? I'm actually pretty happy with that. Thanks, buddy. Yay, more speed is awesome. All right, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright guys, I think on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to end the episode. I would like to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to leave a like rating, my friends. It would be very much appreciated. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But apart from that, my friends, that is just about it. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next episode.